your hand over here on the Coachman Pastiche 545. So we'll start off at the front, you have your Alco hitch. So to put your toe ball in, black handle goes up, toe ball in, black handle down, stabiliser down to lock toe ball into place. To release, stabiliser up, black handle up. You've got your jockey wheel, handbrake, bulkhead regulator with two spaces to put your propane or butane gas bottles. Also have an ATC fitted to the camera. So once your 13 pin plug is fitted onto your car, you will get outside lights and 12 volt power which will do your Alco ATC and your fridge if your car is wired up correctly. Around the side we have your Truma water pump inlet, so to insert, insert to the aqua roll, blue trigger up, push into the inlet. You have your battery locker, um, suitable for 110 amp or 85 amp battery, 230 mains inlet, your toilet cassette when full to release, orange handle up, pull out and put back in, your toilet um, fluid inlet so you mix your water and your toilet chemical lights all working <coughs> and also your awning light now inside now inside the caravan, above the door, you have your main control panel for your inside of the van. So to turn the master on, you'll click this key here like so. The one next to it is the water pump, we'll get to that in a second. Um, we also have interior lights, all in light on and off, and the voltage in your battery. When running the pump, you, before you click the pump on, you want to make sure that these two Chain of files are in the down horizontal position. Then you will turn your pump on and see a red indicator light. And you will want to open your tap. Once opening the taps, you want to drain all the air out of the system as it's already done in this video. But you'll just run it from hot to cold until all the air is drained out in all three taps. Once all the air is out of the system, your pump will calibrate itself and will turn on and off when necessary. To the left of us, we have your Audi control panel. So you have to press this on button here like so, and all the screen will load up. Then when it's fully loaded up, you will have indication here to say you've got mains, the temperature in the van. So you press menu at the top here, You've got your internal temperature at where you want it to be. So I'll put it up to 30. Then you've got your water, so on hot or boost, and then off, and then where you want it. So if you want it on one kilowatt, two kilowatt, or three kilowatt, or you can have it on electric and gas. Like so, then to turn off, all you have to do is just hold the power button for a few seconds and it will turn itself off. Behind me here, we have your Fetford fridge. So to turn on, you hold this power button here like so for a few seconds, it will all turn on like so. Then you have three, sorry, you have three settings. So to turn the power mode on, so sorry, to change the source, you hold this square button here. Then you've got gas, 12 volt, or 230. 230 obviously runs on mains. Battery will only work when connected to the car, if it is wired up correctly, and it will only maintain the temperature already in the fridge. And gas, obviously once it is turned on, you will hear the fridge ticking, and then it will stay solid green light, and this will be here like so. If it has failed for any reason, all you need, it will, obviously the green lights will be flashing and that will be red. All you do is just turn it on and off again and obviously let it reset itself. 
Now to turn off, you hold this power button here like so, and off it goes. Here in the oven, you have electrical hob and three gas burners and a gas and gas oven. So to turn on, what you want to do, off with the electric one first, you have settings one to six. Obviously, when it's turned on, this red LED light will come on like so. With the burners, all you have to do is just push in, turn it all the way to the left onto high flame or low flame, press the igniter, and lock it just so. Before using, make sure this lid is all the way back. Otherwise, when if it is too far forward, it does. Oh, sorry. Right, sorry. Ignore that last bit. To turn it off. So I was going to say was just make sure that's all the way up, and obviously everything is turned off before the lid is closed down. With the uh, grill turn it on like so so push it in high flame or low flame and obviously your grill will be a light so turn it off turn clockwise and with your oven you push it in down like so and same again push that way before we get to the alarm and the mover you also have a fetford toilet with an electrical flush so what you do is, with your filler point on the outside, above the toilet cassette locker, you will fill in your water and your toilet chemical. So obviously once you've gone through your toilet, you press this like so, obviously your toilet chemical and water will flush through, and you have a slide across the lid, push away from you which opens the locker which empties it into cassette, then to close it again. Obviously that lid has to be closed to let the toilet cassette out. Also in the caravan you have a sergeant alarm fitted. So to engage, you hold the button here like so. And it will beep once. And obviously your PAR there will detect any movement in the van. And obviously once sensor is moving, will go off. Then to disengage, you press twice. This one here is for the light, and this one on here is for the awning light. Before we get to the demonstration of the mover, you have two uh, forms inside the van. One is your warranty cover, so obviously what we cover and what we don't. And then your winterization sheet. Um, just a demonstration of how to drain off your van correctly in the months April through to November. Sorry, November to April. Um, so, <clears throat> obviously these will be left in the van. Any other additional information you will need will be in your book pack located in the van, just to go through all the appliances and different bits and bobs. Now, the mover. On your caravan you have a power touch motor fitted. So first of all you want to go into the locker and turn the switch clockwise. Then you want to turn on the controller by holding these two, button, two green buttons here like so. so. So it comes on. Then you hold the centre button and the arrow on the right. Just for a few seconds as it starts its cycle. The motors both sides will start to engage into the wheel. Like so. As it's doing a cycle on the controller. Expect for the cycle to finish. Box out. Now you are ready to take the handbrake off. <laughs> And on the handset, so you've got forwards, backwards, front towards me, front away from me, back towards me, and away. Once finished, handbrake up, and then to release the motors off the wheel, hold the centre button and arrow on the opposite side and the motors will start to disengage. <coughs> Just let it 
finish off this last little cycle until you hit the end bit. Like so. Now it is finished. Hold the two green buttons. Until it turns off. And isolation switch anti-clockwise. Thank you.